when the Claveria Decree of 1849 was released, the head of the province received a physical copy of the catalog. He would then distribute the names across the different towns. The list was given to the parish priest. The parish priest would contact the Cabeza de Barangay. The Cabeza de Barangay would contact the heads of household for their final selection. If you were an orphan, then you have to select the name of your paternal grandfather. If you are an illegitimate child, then you would have to take the name of your mother or of your baptismal nino. If you are a foundling or an abandoned child, you would have to take the name of your parish priest. Once you have made the selection, you have three days or the community has three days to deliberate to make sure there are no extreme duplications. The final approval will be made by the parish priest before the records are sent to the provincial government. There are a few exceptions. If you are Spanish and you have Spanish lineage, you are a peninsulares or an insulares, then you can keep your name. If you belong to an indigenous tribe, then you can keep your name. If you are Chinese, you can keep your name. If you have used the same surname for four generations and you can prove this through land records and baptismal records, then you can keep your name. There are some prohibitions. There are some names that you cannot use because these names are uh, associated with titles and benefits granted by the Spanish crown. So if you use it, it means you are uh, authorized to do so. You have the right to do so. Examples are Lacandula, Mojica, Tupas, and Matanda. If you have friends today with those names, it's very likely that if they can trace their ancestry all the way to pre-colonial nobility. Changes from this law created a robust system in notarial records, church records, and uh, civil records. Uh, Claveria even provided templates for the country to follow. Uh, if you cannot find the records today, it is very likely because there was flood, fire, war. Also, there were some provinces that were not yet created. Uh, also, some revolutionaries and those who were excommunicated from the church created their own surnames. Um, thank you for your comments. You inspire me to create more content and I will try to answer as many as I can. Those I can't, let's see if we can make some more videos out of them. Thanks.